Hi everyone, um, back with another video. I um, got back yesterday from a beach um, holiday, winter beach holiday in um, northern Queensland and um, I just thought I'd show you what I packed and tell you what I wore and also what I kind of, a few things that I learned from um, what I packed and didn't wear. And um, so I'll tell you the climate, it was like a minimum of about 18 like at night and um, the maximum of about 22 so the temperature was fairly kind of consistent throughout the evening and at night but um, during the day you could wear sandals um, but at night it did get feel a little bit chilly so um, yeah I, I thought I packed quite well I took 10 pieces of clothing and then three pairs of shoes and two bags um, but I didn't end up wearing everything and I wished that I had one other pair of shoes so um, yeah, I'll show you what I brought. I also, I'm not, I didn't count my underwear and um, workout wear in my kind of 10 pieces or whatever. So, okay. So I'll show you. These are the tops that I took. So this is a um, rag and bone long sleeve t-shirt, which is a little bit, so slightly kind of sheer. I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't tell from that angle. But um, it's a rag on sleeve top. Um, with a sort of, it's, it's a sweatshirt um, cut, um, so it looks nice um, over jeans or shorts or whatever, um, and you don't need to kind of tuck it in, it, it kind of gives a definition to the waist without um, being tucked in. And then I took this um, Romance Was Born t-shirt with the bright print and short sleeve and kind of long. And then I took this Alexander Wang um, grey mild t-shirt, which is actually a bit still wet. <laughs> I just washed it. So anyway, that's why it looks a bit funny. But anyway, um, yeah, just a short sleeve t-shirt. So in terms of what I wore, I, did I even wear this? I think I actually only wore this once and apart from and the other two um, these two I got quite a bit of wear out of um, oh sorry I forgot this t-shirt I took this t-shirt as well which is the Mary Catranzu oh, this is the front um, Mary Catranzu t-shirt which I um, is a kind of I expected to wear it as a dressy t-shirt um, out to dinner and stuff and I didn't end up wearing it at all because it was too cool at night for just a t-shirt um, and I will say this is the jacket that I brought it's a denim jacket by Mother Denim and I yeah I took this and this would have been good and it would have meant that I would have been comfortable to wear um, some of my like wear this t-shirt at night but um taking this away with me made me realize how I'm really not happy with it <laughs> I haven't been happy with it since I got it um and that was like a couple of years ago so I just made me go like I have to sell it <laughs> um it's just it's a nice jacket but it just doesn't the silhouette isn't right and it's a stretch um it's got a bit of lycra in it and so yeah it just uh, whenever I would put something on put this over the top of something it would make it look worse so <laughs> um that was one thing that i learned like i don't like this jacket so this is going to go on ebay and then um the other the jumper that i took was this um pro schooler jumper that i've showed before and i wore this heaps i wore that i wore it on the plane and then i wore it um quite a few nights when I went out to dinner um, because it was a bit chilly so um, yeah and then for dresses I took two dresses this um, APC dress with the um, kind of elbow length sleeves and leopard print obviously and it's so it's a kind of um, looser fit so it was I wore this a lot during the day when I would go for a swim or whatever it was easy to, to throw on if I had wet swimmers on underneath. And um, 
I would have been comfortable to wear it out at night, um, but it was just a bit too chilly. So if it, if it had been warmer, I think I would have been happy to wear it out to dinner as well. And then I also uh, took this dress, which is a um, obviously very bright dress by Romance with Bon. And um, it's a cotton jersey dress and um, – or cotton knit, sorry. Um, yeah, and I wore this out for, to dinner a few times and um, also during the day a couple of times as well. So – and it was comfortable to wear and it, it felt like – the same as the other dress, they both felt like day or night pieces and um, fine to wear to the beach but also fine to wear out to a nice dinner. Um, just by dressing it up or whatever. And then for bottoms, I took these um, country road kind of loose pants, which I showed in my um, video when I was in Hong Kong. So I wore these on the plane because um, it was it's cold in Sydney. I wore them on the plane um, there and back, and then I also wore them out to dinner um, quite a few nights with with this jumper and obviously it would be great if I was doing a cutaway now where I was wearing the outfits but um, if I do that then it, it will kind of multiply the amount of time it takes to do this video by a lot so sorry if I'm not doing it and uh, yeah so those pants came in very handy because they were light fabric so they um, were comfortable and but also not too hot and then I took um, these denim kind of shorts and I think I wore them a couple of times only really. I think I wore them, I wore it with the grey t-shirt and with the black long sleeve t-shirt. Um, but yeah, I didn't, after a while I just found myself just always wearing the APC leopard print dress and because um, it was just so um, easy to wear to the beach and stuff. And then in terms of shoes, I on the plane I wore um, these my Nike Freeze sneakers, and then I also used them when I was doing when I was working out. And then um, when I did wear sandals, say if we were going for a nice lunch or for dinner at night a couple of times, I wore these. APC um, metallic sandals, they're kind of a pewter colour and I, I think these will be really good because I can wear them at night or during the day, I just got them recently. Um, yeah, so these are the same as the dresses and stuff that I feel like if I wore them I'd be comfortable wearing them at night or during the day. And they're comfortable, like they have a little bit of a heel but um, I, I've said before, I just, I don't do well with heels, it hurts my feet. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with these. And then I, um, the shoes that I wore the most were my navy Birkenstocks. I wore them like every day to the beach and um, I don't know if I wore them at night. But, yeah. And then for bags, I took... This was my going out handbag, the um, Alexander Wang Marion bag in black. And I think I took it out a few times during the day as well. And then um, my handbag, that my main handbag that I had to take to the beach or on the plane or and when I was with the kids and stuff was um, this bag. So it's a canvas bag. It's not coated, but it's... A very functional uh, beach bag. It's got, it's big, and you can chuck swim towels and swimmers and all sorts of you know sunscreen and all those things that you need when you've got to carry stuff for children. And um, so it's very functional, but I kind of didn't love the. I don't love the print. I haven't ever really loved the print. Um, I just bought this on a whim, kind of, uh, quite a few years ago, and because it's functional I have kind of used it but never been that happy about it so yeah um so that's they're all the things that I took and um yeah I even though I felt like I'd kind of 
minimize my wardrobe and um, I wasn't taking anything unnecessary. I found out found that I was actually quite happy to keep wearing um, the same things over and over again. <laughs> so the, the things that I wore the most were the um, this dress I wore heaps and then the the black pants these black pants and this um, top. So the the day the leopard dress I wore the most during the day and then these two things I wore at night, the pants and the top. And um, I mostly wore them with these sneakers. So I was kind of trying to do that whole kind of like fashion look with sneak, you know, high tech sneakers. But I wished that I'd had a um, dressy pair of closed toed shoes. Basically, that's that's. I wish I I didn't really need to have brought as many tops as I did. Um, and I wish that I had a, either like a smart sneaker, <laughs> which sounds weird, um, or just a dressier pair of um, closed toe shoes because it was just chilly at night. Um, yeah, but I, I've i read um, lots of blogs, like minimalism blogs and stuff, you know, that um, just wearing the same thing over and over isn't that bad. And, yeah, it isn't. I guess I was on holiday and I knew that I was just had these pieces for a limited amount of time. But, you know, even though I had only had 10 pieces of clothing, like, it was still too much <laughs> in a way. And, um, you know, it probably, if, if it had been warmer, then I probably would have got more wear out of stuff. But um, it was, even though I kind of slightly misjudged the weather, it was still interesting to kind of realise how little I needed for a beach holiday. Um, so I think that's about it for this video. Um, I am hopefully going to, I've got a big chunk of clothing that I'm going to kind of re remove from my house by either putting on eBay or um, taking to Vinnie's and whatnot and I'm hoping to kind of do project 333 uh, so it just feels like a big job at the moment <laughs> um, but yeah I will um, when I do it I will definitely do a video and um, just trying to think I, there was something else I was going to say but oh yes I know um, if you are interested in some other um, videos that or blogs that um, write about this type of thing there's um, a blog called un-fancy.com and she has a, a capsule wardrobe of 37 pieces for each season and then she photographs a whole ton of out, outfits from those pieces and posts them on her blog and it's very stylish and um, inspiring and then the, another blog that I've been enjoying reading is Into Mind, Into Dash Mind, so I N T O Dash M I N D dot com, but I'll put the links below. And um, she does a lot of like 20, 20 piece capsule wardrobes, and then she'll do 20 outfits with, um, and I think in her 20 pieces she includes shoes as well. So yeah, you should check that out as well if you are interested in that type of thing. Okay, I hope you found this interesting. Bye.